This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Microcap Conference in New York City 2017. I have with me Suzanne Miglucci from Charles and Colvard. It's a publicly traded company on NASDAQ and the symbol is CTHR. Welcome back to SNN Live. Thank you, Shelley. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. It's good to have you. Let's get started with an overview of the company and then we'll go from there. Sure. So Charles and Colvard is the manufacturer of moissanite, which is a man-made, lab-created uh, gemstone. Um, it's actually a, a very rare mineral. You can find it in the earth, but in tiny, tiny amounts. So we have actually mastered the process of creating it in a laboratory so that it's perfect. We then uh, craft that into beautiful gemstones and put it into fine jewelry. We sell it online and in retail stores. Now, I want to go I haven't seen you in, what, six months or so, right? Yes. So let's get an update on what's happened over the course of the last two quarters. Sure. From, and then uh, you could explain that. Okay. Well, Charles and Colvard has been working on an omni-channel strategy. And what that means for us is that we want to be in all the places the consumer shops, all the places the consumer does their research. And so it's important that we do that online. So what we've really been focusing on, Shelley, over the past six months is getting out on Amazon and eBay and Jet and Walmart and all of those places making sure that we're on search engines, making sure that we're on social media. And my primary audience is the millennial. Um, they're very... Um they're very ethically sourced in the, the items that they buy. We're a very ethically sourced product. They're very conscientious about price. We're very value-oriented a product. And so they're an important audience to us, but the way to reach that millennial is to be out on social media. So in the last six months, we've really been focusing on getting out there as well. So you'll find us on Facebook and Snapchat and on YouTube. We have some great videos. The product lends itself to video. Um, it's a very um, brilliant gemstone. It's got a lot of fire. And so to see it and see the beauty is important, and that's why video itself is important as well, and that's why we're out on social media in video format. So we encourage men and women together to go out and do their research, understand what moissanite is about, understand how it differs from other gemstones that are on the market, understand what lab created means, and uh, is that important to you and your value system? And we create actually out on charlesandcolvard.com, our website, um, some learning materials to help you understand about the product so you can you can decide whether or not from the the male or, or female's point of view whether this is something that you would value speaking of value does it hold its value it does hold its value and and, and the price is amazing you know if you were to compare uh, moissanite to other gemstones on the market um, it's usually about a tenth the cost of a mined diamond so the an incredibly good price and then of course what we do is we put it in terrific high-end jewelry um, and that makes it an incredible value who's your competition hmm so we certainly compete with diamond when someone's looking for a, a clear gemstone. Um, we're created, lab created diamond is more my competition right now because I think the, the consumer that we're actually attractive to is the consumer that wants an ethically sourced product. So if that's the case, they're probably not going to lean toward a mined diamond. But lab created diamond is interesting, but it's still incredibly expensive. And with moissanite, we've been at it for now 22 years. We understand how to do this well. Um, we have some very unique faceting that we do in our gemstones, so that brings out more fire and more brilliance than you're even going to find in a mined or a lab-created diamond. So once you've done the homework and you're there, you'll understand why this is uh, probably the product for you. What's the conversation on social media about Charles and Covart? Well, the conversation is, is based on um, the, the background of the product. The consumer really does want to understand where these goods come from. Uh, the, today's consumer is interested in the entire lineage of their product. So what they ask of us is, is this an ethically sourced stone? Absolutely. It's, it's grown in a laboratory in North Carolina. We create jobs in this country around this product. Is it placed in ethically sourced metals? Absolutely. We require of all of our suppliers that the metals are ethically sourced. So the dialogue is really around being eco-friendly, and eco-conscious and having ethically sourced goods that have a lineage you can follow. Let me ask you, I remember in our last conversation, we discussed your background and your background in marketing and in e-commerce yes. and in social media. So let me ask you, what's your background and how does it all relate and come together? 
Yeah, I, so I think I break the mold just a little bit when it comes to the jewelry industry. I don't come from this industry. My background is e-commerce, it's technology. I consider Charles and Colvard a technology company that's selling gemstones and jewelry. And we have to be in order to be competitive because the, the growth path for this company is really through uh, more of a direct-to-consumer reach. And consumers are on social media. Consumers are on marketplaces. Consumers are researching goods online. There's far less shopping in malls now. Retail isn't going away, but a lot of the homework is done online. So really the, the approach for us and is to be online where that consumer is, and that's where my background helps uh, the company. So we're very focused on an online presence, whether it's on social media channels ourselves, on our own .com site, on search engines, on marketplaces. We need to be everywhere that consumer is. And, uh, and I've brought to this company that background from my history and in, in, my, in my past uh, roles. Now, how does what you just said relate to the growth drivers for 2018? Yes. So uh, we believe that online selling will be a, a core tenant to our strategy. You know, we've very focused, we're very focused on Forever One, which is our completely colorless gemstone. We have a DEF quality, a GHI quality. Um, it's 86% of our overall sales, which is unprecedented. We Last year at this time, it was, it was maybe single digits. Um, and so we, we've really grown in this product, but we want to make sure that it's visible and available to everyone. And so you'll find that we are expanding our way uh, in both assortment and on various marketplaces. Um, very strong this year in the U.S. I think the growth strategy that you should expect of us is you'll see more and more of that as we go into international markets. Marketplaces are a smart way to do that. You know, uh, a lot of businesses will jump right into a, a, a new uh, region of the world and they'll open retail stores. That's not our strategy. Our strategy is to use e-commerce as an agile way to dip a toe into a market. Imagine if we could be on Amazon as we are in the U.S. and try a new theater around the world. It's a low overhead way to use the 300 million eyeballs that are Amazon and to test that new market and ensure that there's a Charles and & Colvard and Moissanite customer there. If there is, I can prove that by way of the sales through that marketplace, and when that clicks, well, then I'm happy to open a website that is charlesandcolvard.com in that region. I'm happy to talk to retail. I'm happy to look at new distributors in that region, but not until we've proven the model that there's a customer in that region for that product. Marketplaces help me do that. How easy is it for you to ramp up manufacturing? So we... Uh, the good news is that I've hired some very smart people in my supply chain, and so we rely on them to, to kind of scale the business. Um, we have, over the last year or so, um, really optimized that supply chain. It is a global supply chain. We actually use global suppliers for jewelry. Um, we use faceters globally. Um, so it's built out, and it's ready, and it's ready to scale. We're in the fourth quarter of 2017. Is yeah. this an important quarter? It, it is kind of the quarter for us in any retail. Fourth quarter is, is when people buy. Q1 is also not a bad quarter for us with Valentine's Day. That's a very jewelry-oriented quarter of the year. Um, so the next two quarters will, uh, will stand up uh, as, as probably the larger quarters um, in what is a very cyclical business for Charles and Colbard. Let's get your website out there for our investor audience to get more information. You got information. it. Please find us at charlesandcolvard.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Suzanne McGlucci, Charles and Colvard. It's a publicly traded company on NASDAQ, and the symbol is CTHR. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live, and we're coming to you live from the Microcap Conference in New York City 2017. Suzanne, a pleasure Thank to see you. Thank you, Shelley.